The reality is that we have to be careful with what we provide in terms of implicit messages to our children who are in our educational systems throughout the United States. We may want to, we may value, we may identify completely with English only and see that as being superior, and that's fine. But the problem is if those messages are given to our children, it tends to undermine their ability to do well. If we really want to improve the education of our multilingual learners, we're going to have to really accept the fact that perhaps English only might not be the best way to go. And some of those arguments that people like to make about English only, I think, might be a little bit more believable and credible if people were sort of more careful with their own speech and their own writing when it comes to English. For example, we have a picture here of a woman um, protesting in Texas, I believe, and she has a sign there, must have created it on her own, which says, make English America's Ophicl language. Now you're probably wondering, okay, let me go look up what Ophicl means. Well, there is no word as Ophicl. It's supposed to be official language. So someone who wants to make English America's official language doesn't really know how to spell in America's official language, do they? And then we have Mayor Chester Strange. I think this might even be somewhere in New Jersey, Village of Crestwood, where he is saying to everyone in his big sign here, English is our language. No accessions, learn it. And once again, you don't need to go to Google to find out what's an accession. It's a nothing. An accession is exception without the P in it, right? It's missing the letter because Mr. Mayor Tr Strancheck himself is unable to spell in the language that is our language. And last, well, here you see the conflation between the anti-immigrant sentiment and English only. We have the little girl on the left there, right? At the bottom left, and she's got a sign in front of her saying, Honk for English. Okay, fine. But then on the right-hand side, we have another woman holding up a sign that says, No amnity. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you're going to run to Google one more time. What the heck is an amnity? It's not amnity. It's amnesty, as in immigration amnesty. So once again, these things go together. All right. And as I like to say, you know, if you're going to make arguments about English being the only official language in the United States, you might want to be more careful about how you're expressing yourself.